Hello, my babies. It's David Grace from Slash and Many Films. I'm here with my PSP, Crash Bandicoot, from the PlayStation Network. I'm going to show you guys some secrets. Now, you're going to go to Password and hit X. Now, I'd like to thank Charlie Pew for showing me these secrets. Okay, you're going to type in this. You can't really see it that well, but you'll have to deal with it. What you're going to type in is, now watch as the box gets bigger. Triangle, 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 X, square, triangle, 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 square. No, wait, I have to take that back. Square. X, excuse me, I have to I have to actually look at the game on typing it in. I apologize. Circle, triangle, triangle. I missed something. Triangle, circle, triangle, 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 circle, square, square er no wait. I'm making a lot of mistakes, so I apologize. Triangle X X X X. Oh we get this. That is a 24-digit code. It should say this. You have everything complete. After you do said code, you're going to hit X. Or it will bring you to your map. From your map, you are going to go to a level with the name Castle Machinery. Um, you're going to hit X. It's loading. All right. From here, I'm sorry. This is gonna be hard for me, but you're gonna go like this, and you're gonna you're gonna jump on to this, and where you will be brought to a platform with 30 Bandicoot lives. I'm sorry. It's the camera is del the camera is misleading my vision. You're going to go running through these, step on here, and jump through the exit. So not only do you complete the level through shortcut, you also get 30 extra lives. You will make a mistake in this next part. This I have to do this for, or else I know for a fact I will make a mistake. So this will take a little bit for me to do. Alright. Alright, now watch. From here, it will go up to the Great Hall. I'm watching the video up here, so I know y'all can see it. Alright, now you saw that gem that floated by. One, don't make that mistake. Go forward and then turn around. What you're going to do is when that gem comes back again, you're going to jump onto the gem and turn around. You're going to jump to this gem, which is stationary. Unlike the past things you step on in midair, it's not going to fall out from under you. You're going to go ahead and you're going to go through here. Now note that this is the level before you go to Dr. Neocortex. And you can only do this if you have the game completed. That's why I gave you that code. Also because when 3D animation was young, like when this game came out in 1996, it became misleading. So... Note that that was the end of the level back there, and then you, from there you'd go on to beat Neocortex. But I'm going to show you, through this way, a way that you can go ahead and beat the game without beating Neocortex. And to save that torture for another game. A la Final Fantasy VII. Or another over-budgeted, complicated piece of shareware like that. But, um, well worth the money. Alright. You're going to continue to jump onto these little gems. Alright. From here, you see Crash's girlfriend, who was too unpopular to appear in the other games. You're going to walk over, he jumps into the air, starts cheering, and they fly away. 
the game's over. Now, final summation, you can beat the game without actually beating the game. That's about it. Anyway, um, as a quick added Easter egg, I could, I could sort of say it's an Easter egg. I have something else weirdly ironic to show you guys today. Give me just a second. I really hate this webcam. No offense to you, Mom, but I hate this webcam. Hi, Mom! Say hi! That's my mom in the background. Anyway. And my webcam fell. Alright, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go through the credits like this. It shows all the villains and what they went ahead. And I don't have time to read these to you. I Honestly, I don't have time to read these to you. Um... You're going to go ahead and you're going to do this. It's going to show. Yeah, pinstripe, baby! Pinstripe's awesome. Anyway, but this game came out in 1996. The first person to find this specific thing, they didn't find it until 98, two years after the game came out, and one year after Crash 2 came out. Um... A Naughty Dog departed from the Crash Project after CTR came out, Crash Team Racing. Unfortunately, I do not have that game. Or a PlayStation emulator, so... I'm sorry. So I can't review that for you. I have the disc! I have the game! I also have the disc for Crash Bandicoot 2 and 3. Anyway. Credits. Now something funny in the credits to show you guys. My friend told me about this. I'm not going to tell you what it is, because I want you to see it for yourself. But um, he told me that something was in the credits that was kind of ironic to me. Crash Bandicoot was one of my favorite games. I've beaten it multiple times. Um, and and he said this, and I was like, no, that's that's too weird. He's like, no, I was serious. I beat the game, and I found this. I have my credits paused, because apparently he still thinks I'm in the game, and I'm able to pause them. But, but so I went online, looked it up, and they said so, too, so I looked. I know that's kind of hard to see, but that says assistant producer David Gracia. Dead serious. So um, it's kind of or it's kind of ironic. It's one of my favorite games, and it's on there. So. I'm watching the delay on the camera, but um, all right, that's about it. So, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya, and bye-bye.